So the LeBron watch, LeBron 15. LeBron shows love to Nike's history and his history with Nike. What does that look like? What's up guys, we are live here again today at Stadium Goods. I'm Fresco BK and this is Stadium Goods. So today we're gonna take an unboxing look at the LeBron watch orange box, Moab and Griffey Jr. So if you guys have been following LeBron's career, we're all familiar with the fact that LeBron has some really ill PEs that we've never been able to get our hands on. So what Nike's done now with the LeBron 15, they introduced LeBron 15 with the LeBron watch and the LeBron watch commemorates pivotal moments in not only Nike's history as a company, but LeBron's history in regards to his relationship with Nike and his pivotal moments within Nike. So the orange box starts it off because the orange box is very special to Nike. Back in 1972, there was the founder, Phil Knight, who introduced Nike's orange box, which is what inspired this particular LeBron 15. So as we unbox these, we got the box top right here. You guys can see, just take these out and let me know what you guys think in the comments. <clears throat> Which one's your favorite? We'll get to my favorite in a minute, but I love the new LeBron 15. So if anybody from Nike is out there, I do wear size 12 and I'm very serious about that. So holla at me one time, size 12, send over to the store. But we have the LeBron orange box, LeBron 15 orange box. So as you can see, full orange, throughout the upper. We'll get into the details on some of the other shoes. A hit on this one, we have the Nike Air on the back, which is pretty much classic to Nike's orange box. And if you guys can see, it mirrors the same box, classic box you guys have seen throughout the years. So I've got some questions for you guys because I'm a little confused. So as we talk about these variety of LeBron 15s, they each feature details on each shoe that have either something to do with LeBron himself Nike's lineage or the history and the connection between him and that particular shoe. So with this orange box that we've been talking about, it features the 603 on the pull tab on the tongue. I don't know what 603 means. Do you guys know what 603 means? Because I'm pretty confused. But if you do, please let me know in the comments. And if you guys look at the right foot, has the 503. So I believe that 503 is the area code in Portland, Oregon but I could be wrong, it could mean something else. But if you know, please leave that in the comments. And the pull tabs right here on the right foot features the 78, and on the left foot features a building 108. So like I said, I'm not sure what these details mean. I've looked them up on Google, I can't find them. So if you know, and you got some history, you could teach me something, please leave it in the comments and let us know. We're gonna transition into the next pair, which is a LeBron 15 Moab out of the LeBron watch. So the Moab is easily one of my favorites out of the LeBron 15 silhouettes, LeBron watch joints, but we're gonna get into those right now. As we just talked about the orange box of the LeBron 15, the LeBron watch, excuse me, brought to you by LeBron and Nike. We have another set of the LeBron watch, which is actually one of my favorite out of the group. So. LeBron commemorates his love for the Nike Air Moab. I believe he first saw his uncle with them back in the day at some point. But the Moab was released in 1991. It's one of the most classic shoes. It's easily one of my favorite shoes. I definitely have a pair in the crib. So LeBron, I salute you for liking the Nike Moab. But we're gonna take a look at the LeBron 15 spin-off version of the Moab. So I didn't get into the details on the orange box, but the detailing on this is, so it's a full battle knit upper. It's like a stronger version of the fly knit that you've seen on a bunch of Nike silhouettes before, but it's the battle knit upper throughout the top. And we have the classic colors of the Nike Air Moab. So Nike Air Moab was uh, pretty much earth tones. We've got the earth tone here in the toe box, a light earth tone here on the outsole. And then we've got the blue right there throughout the upper tongue area with the pull tab. And normally on the Moab, you'd see the ACG. So the ACG program by Nike is all, of course, super classic, but um, Instead of the ACG logo, we see the LBJ, which represents LeBron James. And we have the production date on the back pull tab with the 1991 right there. And then if you look at the right shoe, there's a 2018. Another cool feature we got here is the 
max unit throughout the outsole, midsole. So this one has speckle throughout. So it has a gray speckle right in the midsole area, which leads down into the lower level of the midsole area. And then the outsole, as you guys can see, full black with the blue hit right there. So easily one of the most classic sneakers that Nike has ever released. If you guys can re-release the Moabs, we want those back again. We want the Moabs, but this LeBron 15 Nike watch take on the Moab is of course super fire. But as I transition, of course, this one's my favorite out the group. I'm telling you guys straight up, but we're going to transition into my favorite baseball player. And I'm trash at baseball, but I play you one-on-one -on -one basketball for some money. So if you want to pull up, I got you, but we're going to take a look at how much love LeBron has for Ken Griffey. So last but not least, once again, we've touched on the LeBron watch. There's a variety of releases. Shouts out to Nike for the LeBron watch program because we love the PEs over the years. But lastly, we're gonna take a look as LeBron pays homage to Ken Griffey Jr. and his tenure with the Seattle Mariners. I super, super, super fan of Ken Griffey. If you are in the neighborhood of Stadium Goods, if you're in Soho, New York City, please feel free to pull up to the store. You are certainly welcome. But this LeBron 15, as we take a look at here, is inspired by Ken Griffey Jr. So we have the freshwater colorway of the LeBron 15 Griffey. Freshwater right here throughout the upper. As I mentioned before, we got the battle net, same materials throughout each shoe that you guys have seen, but there are certain details that are different. So. We have on the pull tab here, the 1989. So 1989 represents the year that Ken Griffey Jr. got into Major League Baseball, 1989. That's on the left foot. But as we transition to the right foot, you see the 2003 that's bared on the right foot, which represents LeBron's entry into the NBA back in 2003. Also another detail on these two back tabs that we have here. So they mirror the Griffey Max 1 that was released years ago. If you guys know what year that was released, please leave it in the comments and let us know, because I'm not too sure. But we've got the logo right here on the left foot, which mirrors the classic Griffey logo, but it's the LeBron James shoe, so it has the LeBron Dunkman logo. And then on the back tab of the right foot, we've got the 23, which normally would be Ken Griffey Jr.'s 24. But as we were saying, that LeBron's a super fan of Ken Griffey and he had to pay homage with these. So, in all three that I've talked about today, you guys, please let me know which one is your favorite. I already know, I already let you guys know which one's my favorite. So, if you have any size 12s and you're feeling a little friendly, please send them over to the store. I do accept gifts, size 12. Stadium Goods, we're located on 47 Howard Street, Manhattan, Soho area. Please feel free to stop in. Please follow us on all social media platforms, whether that's Instagram, Pinterest, Google+, Snapchat, Twitter, all at Stadium Goods. Visit our website, stadiumgoods.com, for any questions or inquiries that you guys may have. App is available on iOS and on Android, so please feel free to download it. I am Fresco BK, and salute.